get it okay I made a book go check it out <laughs> this week I was kind of working on a lot of stuff I, well, I was trying to I was sick most of the week actually so I was in bed or on the sofa with the dog and then the cat would come and stare at me so I figured I hadn't made a luchador lady in a long long time and so I sat down at my little desk I set up my camera and I went on an adventure I didn't really know where this one was gonna take me but I kind of think that's kind of the purpose of these journeys thank you to everybody who's picked up my book so far and digital or hard copy I think it's really great and it's really amazing um, that so many people have loved it. I'm going to set up a show and yes, when I set up a book signing, I will record it so you guys can see everything. It's just, it's really beautiful. I've been getting really into, uh, really deeper into my photography recently. Just catching objects, the cat, the dog, <laughs> the lucky cat, little fun things with the... Uh, light exposures. I just feel like there's this really cool kind of, I use the word journey a lot, but I feel, yeah, there's this really great journey about just kind of making and doing, and being a part of. All these places seem to kind of inspire and be the best parts of everything. I grew up in a very Mexican, uh, community and so luchador masks have always been very interesting and beautiful to me and my mother always had lots of just masked just masks from all over the world there I feel like masks represent so much power and strength and tattoos are like the masks you don't wear on your face you are all over your body to tell your stories I love the way colors blend and link and just kind of find shapes within everything. There's no wrong way to really make or feel or be or be a part of while making things. And I love that. I love making music on the canvas. There's so much just waiting to feel. There's a layering that goes on like the crusts of the earth. Each one intricate, each one amazing, each one doing its part. Eroding and then becoming more and then less again, and then more again. Thickening and thickening until it raises up and becomes its own layer all by itself. There's just this incredible kismic aspect to all of it. That you're you're unforced and unsettled to just be and feel and become. Art found me at such a young age under a desk drawing on reamed papers. Deep within kind of the the cave of offices under and through like tunnels and there I was sh -sh 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 -sh, scratching away on the page with pencil I haven't drawn a pencil in years <laughs> I don't even think I remember a feel of how they feel in my hand anymore it's kind of funny all I do is ink huh? ink and watercolor just ink and paint just so finite and perfect. I don't like the idea of being able to go backwards. I only like to move forward now. And it just has this uncanny gorgeousness to it that no thing or soul could ever really quite grasp and pull away from. We are the souls of these things. Or they are the souls of us. They are the swipes and glances and garish gorgeousness. And it feels so good to make and be a part of the making. I don't know exactly the point in which I found myself. This loop of unstoppable creativity. 
It's not though. <laughs> I just don't feel like like there's ever gonna be an end to this. There shouldn't be. I feel like the best parts of just being are when you do things to kind of just grab hold to scratch the brass or cough to canvas to carve a piece of it out and make something completely new I found myself by the water and then the water found me there is this hunger and all of it